my name is uh, Subhash Chauhan and this is the investigative team for this project. Uh, here, Dr. Murli Mohani Alapu, uh, Neeraj Chauhan, Mara Ebling, Subik, and myself, Subhash. So, title of this uh, manuscript is Interaction of Curcumin Nanoformulations with Human Plasma Proteins and Erythrocytes. So, curcumin is a natural compound with a very potent anti-cancer activity. Therefore, uh, we develop five nanoparticle formulations of curcumin in our laboratory because curcumin suffers from poor bioavailability and low solubility. Nanoparticle formulations will enhance their anti-cancer activity and improve its bioavailability. So in first figure, we have shown that uh, curcumin nanoparticle formulations effectively enhance cellular uptake in cancer cells. Uh, in second figure, we have shown that these nanoparticle formulations, when we incubate with the serum, human serum, then uh, these nanoparticles don't change their physical chemical characteristics and do not aggregate in the presence of human serum, which indicate that these nanoparticle formulations are safe for the uh, human blood protein interaction. Further, we analyze whether these nanoparticle formulations can interact with our different human serum proteins like fibrinogen, human serum albumin, and fibrinogen. These nanoparticle formulation did not show any major interaction with these human plasma proteins except dendrimers. So further, we determine hemocompatibility of these nanoparticles with uh, human blood cells. So our study showed, uh, showed that uh, these nanoparticle formulation did not alter or cause any toxicity to the human blood cells, uh, including RBCs and other blood cells. And uh, these particles were hemocompatible. So based on these uh, data, we conclude that our nanoparticle formulations may have a great uh, preclinical and clinical significance.